hospitality that given to us and for hosting this conference. Um, yes, I'm from Australia, not Austria. I remember visiting Austria many years ago and seeing a t-shirt in a shop with a picture of a kangaroo with a big line, big cross through it, and it said, there are no kangaroos in Austria. So obviously they have the same problem that we do. People mix us up. Uh, the University of Sydney is one of the world's top sporting universities if you're measuring it by way of representation at the Olympic Games, um, medals at world championships, development of professional athletes and, and national championships that we have won. Um, it's also got a world-class academic standing. It was currently ranked 37 in the 2008 QS World University rankings. I'm having some trouble with the on-screen display. I'm developing elite athletes who simultaneously work towards very highly regarded degrees. Um, it's been able to achieve outstanding results on a relatively meagre budget if we're comparing it to the major US universities. So we do things on a bit of a shoestring. Um, the university is Australia's oldest, having been formed in 1850. And almost from its inception, students were engaged in sporting competitions. Um, because there are no other Australian universities at the time, the university clubs found themselves competing against uh, local district clubs and, and local uh, regional competitors. And that con tradition continues right through to today. Um, in a number of sports, the University of Sydney's clubs are the oldest in the country. Um, our rugby club is the oldest in the Southern Hemisphere, dating back to 1864. Um, as a result, they've traditionally participated at the highest level of competition, and they continue to do so today. Um, unfortunately, by the end of the 1980s, the university's sports were starting to drop off, and uh, they were becoming in danger of being dropped from the top level of competition. So to avert this, uh, in 1990, the Sports Union took a number of initiatives to, to counteract its, uh, its, its falling from prominence. And the first of these was to establish a sporting scholarship program. So in 1990, the university awarded scholarships to just two athletes. Um, 19 years later, there are around 300 students who are receiving sporting scholarships across about 26 different sports. Um, in developing this highly competitive sports culture, the most logical approach was to focus on the university's traditional major sports and, and areas where we had an already uh, strong base or a strong foundation. Um, so even this year, our scholarship spread is still based on the strength of those, those clubs that had a strong foundation even back then. Around a third of our scholarships go to rugby, rowing and cricket. About another third go to soccer, athletics, baseball, hockey and water polo, and the remainder go to a variety of smaller clubs. Um, some of the smaller sports, um, we jointly fund our scholarship holders with the New South Wales Institute of Sport, which is a government body. So we find ourselves working in with government quite closely in our situation. Um, sporting scholarships at the university carry relatively modest cash stipends. We don't spend millions and millions of dollars on um, big money to, to pay people's tuition. Uh, traditionally, we'll probably only cover about 20% of the students' tuition fees, but where we add value to the experience is um, by providing a lot of non-cash support mechanisms. So we provide all of our athletes with counselling regarding degree and career choices. Um, career advice, we liaise with the academic staff on the students' behalf. Um, we provide tutorials, we provide grants for overseas travel, and we're also providing strength and conditioning coaches, um, physiotherapists, sports medicine, and sports psychologists. So we have a very well-rounded program to offer any of the athletes that are in our uh, sports scholarship uh, program. Um, the university requires scholarship athletes to meet the same academic standards as anyone else, as it should. Um, but where it um, assists us is the provision of flexibility in the maximum time to complete one's degree and also with respect to the scheduling of exams and assignments um, for athletes training or competing overseas or because of clashes with training camps and competitive events within Australia. We have a strong uh, relationship with each of our faculties which enables us to work with them to come up with a course structure that allows flexibility for our athletes. You obviously can't attend exams or turn in papers if you're at a world championships overseas, so they allow them extra time to do that or they reschedule the exams. Um, it's a mark of pride to, to Sydney Uni Sport and Fitness that our athletes actually outperform the general student population. Our athletes do slightly better than the students who, who aren't playing sport at the university at the high level. Um, 
An overriding objective of the university is to facilitate and encourage the full development of human potential. Uh, we believe this is as true of sport as it is in academics. Um, indicators of our success in this endeavour are as follows. Um, Sydney Uni had 20 athletes competing in Beijing at the Olympics and the Paralympics, and they won a total of seven gold medals. And we worked out if the Sydney University was a country, we would have been the 83rd largest country attending the Olympics, and we would have finished, I think, in the top 50 on the medal tally. So we're very proud of that. We have a very strong Olympic tradition at our university. Our rugby and rowing clubs are both bank ranked number one um, in Australia, not just among universities, but among all clubs in Australia. Our cricket club is currently leading the Sydney Club Championship. Our women's basketball, uh, men's and women's water polo teams are frequent finalists and produce a number of Olympians. Um, Bronwyn Watson, who is a female rower, was a gold medalist at the 2008 World Championships in Austria. Very good country. Um, and one of our swimmers, Matt Djokovic, just recently broke the world record for the men's short course 50 metres butterfly. So not only do we have people achieving in a range of sports, but they're achieving at a very high level. Um, we're also striving to emulate the university's uh, performance in the research area. So we're pushing the boundaries of sporting performance in that regard. And in the near future, we plan to establish a centre for athletic performance, um, which as well as providing world-class training environment, uh, the centre will facilitate collaborative research with the university's uh, exercise and sports science faculty and with visiting scholars and research students. And we're also working in cooperation with Sport Knowledge Australia, um, which is an international centre of excellence in sports science and management in the development of courses and educational material. Um, one of the key aspects of our university system is that our <coughs> professional coaches recognise that the development of an athlete is at least as important, if not more important, as winning premierships and succeeding. Um, so there's an acknowledgement that at times study commitments um, have to overtake or go beyond the training and competing of the athlete. So we insist that high academic standards are maintained and that academics uh, is considered at least as important as, as, as sport. Um, Supplementing the professional coaches and administrators are a large army of volunteers. So these people who willingly give up their time to assist with our sporting clubs, to assist with administration and to assist with, with support. Um, we have a large number of volunteers helping our clubs out and they're vital to, to our ongoing uh, existence. Um, the, university, the university environment where there are a number of serious athletes training uh, in different sports offers significant advantages over single sport organisations. There are economies of scale in providing gym facilities, strength and conditioning specialists, dietitians, and other health professionals to service athletes in a wide range of sports. Um, there's also extensive cross fertilisation between the different groups of athletes as they interact in their training environment. So a lot of the athletes and coaches will talk to athletes and coaches from different sports and swap ideas and swap training regimes and swap strength and conditioning tips and things like that. And we find that has a really good benefit. Um, across not only the athletes but the coaches and the administrators as well. Um, elite athletes also become role models for those with less sporting proficiency. So we find in our university that there is a greater take up of sport in general because we have an elite sports program rather than simply not having an elite sports program. So of around 50,000 students at the university, um, there's about 3,000 actively competing for sporting clubs and around um, 17,000 who regularly use the university gymnasium, swimming pool, tennis and squash courts. Um, some of the advantages that have accrued to the university through its promotion of elite level sport include um, the fact many of our scholarship athletes have gone on to professional sporting careers in sports such as rugby and basketball, uh, while others have achieved international success in sports such as rowing and water polo. Others have been assisted to pursue their sporting dreams before embarking on rewarding careers outside sport. So very typically, we help our athletes once they've finished their degree to go on to achieve a, a career outside of sport and to set them up for life beyond their, their sporting career. Um, and because of the gratitude of the assistance they receive, they often end up giving their time and money back to us at a later date once they're financially established to assist us in, in pursuing our further goals. Um, another um, significant um, advantage is involvement in top level sporting competition generates more media attention than any other activity in the university. So we find the university gets a lot of um, activity, for better, a lot of media attention for better or for worse through the sporting programs uh, that we are providing. Um, it's also worth well recognised that the sporting alumni of a university identify much more strongly with their, their alma mater um, than those graduates who have not had such involvement. So our sporting 
uh, our athletes heavily identify with the University of Sydney, whereas our regular graduates, they still identify, but not to the same extent. Um, and success in high-level sport aids in attracting students to the institution and materially influence the requests and donations to the university. Um, so in conclusion, education must be the highest priority of any university. Uh, the, but the University of Sydney is demonstrating that it is possible to combine high-level academic outcomes with elite sporting performance. Thank you very much.